What's up y'all, it's your girl Vani Shrine. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here before. For today's video, it's a nail tutorial. I've never done one. As some of y'all know, I do nails. And I'm going to show you the look that I did that's in the thumbnail. So yeah, I'm starting off by just gluing the tips to her fingers. And you want to glue them... Toward like towards the end, you don't want to glue them too far up. And these are stiletto tips, just basic stiletto tips. And they're a lot easier to use because she wanted long stiletto nails anyways. So she just kept the length that they were. And I just had to redefine the shape a little bit. And now I'm going in with my file and filing the sides just to make it more pointy. Get it. To the shape that she wanted Okay, so now I'm going in and I'm going in with my metal cuticle pusher and pushing back her cuticles. You want to make sure you push it back so that you can file away the excess on like dead skin and cuticle. Because if you don't file that away and then if it's not pushed back enough, there will definitely be quick lifting. And to prevent lifting, you want to make sure you prep the best you can. And this is a very important part of the prepping. So, but like when you're pushing back the cuticles, you don't want to push them back too far because that could cause ir irritation to the skin or bleeding. So you don't want to do go too heavy with that. And now I'm using my file and I am just getting that excess cuticle that I just mentioned away. That is a vital part, like I said, so that you don't get quick lifting or anything or any lifting at all now i'm going back in with my file and i am filing away the shine from the natural nail because that all the oils from the natural nail can cause lifting and i'm also filing down the fake nails the tip so that it's an even surface because that can prevent lifting too and this is the monomer i'm going to be using this is the prep nail prep that i'm going to be using and this is the nail primer I'm going to be using. I got the prep and primer from Sally's. And I'm applying the prep and primer now. And I got the monomer from Amazon. I'm going in with one layer on each nail of nail prep. And I'm going in with two layers of nail primer. Okay, um, I don't know where the footage went from doing that green, but what I basically did was I used the green acrylic and I put it on the tip, basically, because it's going to be an ombre into the green. And now I'm putting clear onto this next finger, the tip of the next finger, and it's going to be clear on the tip of the next two fingers because it's going to be a color faded into the clear. But now... Knowing this is my first time doing a color faded into clear, I feel like I should have just done the color and then put clear over everything instead of doing the clear and then the color and then more clear. But the nail still turned out cute, so it's fine.
So now for the thumb, I'm doing this coral shade on the tip, this coral acrylic. So what I'm going to do is, it's going to be another ombre like the pinky. And it's going to be an ombre from like a natural color into the coral color. So for ombres, if you've never done ombre before, you want to make sure you do the color first, just like I did on the green nail too. You want to make sure you have the color first on the tip and then you want to put the natural nail color on after and fade it up. Okay, so now as you guys see, what I did with the orangish yellow shade, I dragged it up into the clear and gave it a nice little fade. I'm doing the same thing with the pink and I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Um, I'm using this hot pink. It looks kind of red on camera, but it's a hot pink and I'm dragging it up like I did with the yellow. But I feel like I should have did it differently. I feel like I should have had it come lower down, but... It still turned out cute, but you want to take small beads when you're doing this because you don't want to end up fading it up too far. So now for the thumb, I'm going to take that natural nail shade and um, I'm going to fade that up to create the ombre. I will say that my ombre could have been better, but I'm new at doing ombres. I've just, I just started doing ombres recently. So bear with me, but I'm basically just taking the natural nail shade and letting it drag up to the color. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the green pinky that I started with. Um, I am using the natural nail shade and I'm fading that up into the green to have a nice ombre. And I will say that my ombres and my pinkies were, were better than my ombres and my thumbs, but they both were pretty good. So I did the same thing on both hands with the ombres. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with the regular clear and just do a full clear nail. And on top of the clear, I did like a marble effect with a clear glow-in-the-dark acrylic. But I lost the footage of that, and I tried to record it in the end product, too, with the lights off so you can see the glow. But for some reason, it wasn't picking up on camera, but you could see it in real life. So I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys that. But... Yeah, you just want to do a basic clear nail, and I'm going to actually encapsulate this nail with some Louis Vuitton add-ons. Alright, so now I am using my file and filing the nail before I add the glitters. Now this is with the glitter added. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot to record adding the glitters to each nail. But I added a different type of glitter to the nails that faded into the clear. And the glitters that I added to the nails, they, for the most part, corresponded with like the shades. So I added like a pink glitter to the pink nail, I added orange glitter to the orange nail, and I also encapsulated with Louis Vuitton add-ons with the clear nail. And I don't know what this bit is called. I just know that this bit came with my drill. And you can see the Louis Vuitton, one of the Louis Vuitton add-ons better in that clip. And I'm just using a regular square buffer and puffing the nails. Make sure they're smooth. I'm re-fixing up the shape of that one because I didn't like how it looked at that time. Um, buffing away, buffing away, you know. That's why you want to make sure you guys encapsulate the glitter. After you add your glitters, you want to make sure you put a layer of clear on over. Because if you don't, then when you buff and file, the glitter will come right off. And now I'm adding stones. I added some stones on a lot of the nails. I'm just going to show you the stones I added on this nail. 
but I have them saying I added the glue and then I use my picker my, my rhinestone picker upper which I got um, at a local nail store but you can get them off Amazon same for my stones and now you, I'm gonna add my top coat this is a regular gel top coat that glitter reveal looks so nice wow <laughs> And I'm also going to, you're going to see me go back in. And the way I'm adding the top coat for this nail is because I put rhinestones all over this nail. So I want to make sure I don't put the top coat over the rhinestones. And I'm also going under the nails that have the clear so that you can see right through them and they have that nice glassy finish. And this is the finished product. Um, I love this set so much. I feel like it turned out very beautiful. It's so different and colorful and bright. Um, if you guys want to see another nail tutorial from me, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. And please give me video ideas and set ideas. And if you live in the Buffalo area, book me. Thank you all so much for watching. See you on my next video.